In this problem, we need to construct the displacement time graph and the acceleration displacement graph. Let's write down the equations of each of the segments, which are given to us. The only thing we need to change for the first equation is to isolate for v. So we just need to take the square root. To get the displacement time equations, we need to remember that velocity is equal to ds over dt. Now, we can write it as dt is equal to ds over v. All we did was just move our equation around a bit. Let's take the integral and isolate. The lower bounds are 0 because s equals 0 when t equals 0, as stated in the question. Solving the integral gives us an equation for t, but we need it for displacement, so let's write this equation by isolating for s. Now we get a displacement equation with respect to time. To take the integral of the next segment, we need to find its lower bounds. Let's substitute 100 meters and see how long it takes for the boat to cover that distance. Substituting gives us 10 seconds. In other words, it took the boat 10 seconds for it to travel a distance of 100 meters. Using those as our lower bounds for the next integral, we can once again solve for t. As before, we need to isolate for the displacement. The question asks us to determine the time it took for it to travel 400 meters. So let's substitute that in, which gives us 16.9 seconds. The graph looks like this. Now let's focus on getting the acceleration equations. To do this part, we need to remember ADS is equal to VDV. Then we can isolate for A. So we can write it as A is equal to V multiplied by DV over DS. Now we need to figure out the DV over DS part. That means we need to take the derivative of our velocity equations. For the first segment, we have 1 over square root S. Now it's just substituting values into our equation. So v is equal to square root 4s, and the dv over ds part is 1 over square root s. Solving gives us 2 meters per second squared. We do the same exact thing for the next segment. So let's find the derivative of our second segment. dv over ds is 0.2. Let's write our equation, which gives us 0.2s multiplied by 0.2. Solving gives us 0.04s. The graph looks like this. I hope this helped you, and if there are ways to make these videos better, please let us know. If you have a question, comment below, and thanks for watching.